Aquí somos, yo soy de Almería, aquí todos nos conocemos. Eh, Okay, welcome back to the final for the hyperspace trial here from Valencia in Spain. We've got on the left side of the table Abraham Martinez playing uh, Wedge Antilles with Predator and S Foils, Fane Kyrell with S Foils, Fane uh, Ten Num with Predator and Hull Upgrade, and uh, Horton Sun with the Iron Crown and Turret. On the other side of the table, we've got Jose Maria Ungaro from Cartagena, Spain. He's playing Luke Skywalker with R2, Afterburners, Heightened Perception, uh, Servo Motor uh, S-Foils, and Han Solo with Trickshot, Kanan Jarrus, R2-D2, and Engine Upgrade. They're setting up the asteroids. Looks like Ungaro has given Abraham the initiative. So Ungaro's got a huge beard. So, we've got Ungaro setting up on the left edge of the table with Luke, whilst the Abraham deploys the Rebels in a kind of a oblique <coughs> formation in the center of his deployment edge. And Han goes into the opposite corner. He wants to try and pincer here. He wants he wants to see Abraham move in formation into the center of the board and then have have them choose between Han and Luke so that the other one can harass them from out of arc. Stuff here on screen. There we go. One, two, three, four. How's that? That needs to be running. This doesn't, so they're ready to go. Okay, that's done. Started the timer. Let me ask Luis. Luis. Luis, ¿cuánto queda en el tiempo? Luis. No te preocupes. Luis, no pasa. Luis, ¿cuánto queda? ¿Cuánto queda en el tiempo? Uno cincuenta y cinco. Thank you. Okay, so. Welcome back for the final. This is the third uh, regional level event final I've covered from Valencia. Um, we had 2015 
regional in Valencia with like 96 players it was uh, where we had I think it was four rounds of top eight yeah I, I honestly I think that it was because that was back in the day when people are like really funny about these things um, there's, um, there was the 2016 regional in Valencia I couldn't attend because it was the same weekend as the um, System Open Series event in Birmingham, England. So I, I was at that. Uh, so I wasn't able to attend the 2016 one. Right or wrong, Simon? Yeah. Well, there was one of them anyway. 2017. We had in La Roca. And that was when I had. <laughs> well, I don't know. I, I'm pretty sure that our four regional events in Valencia since I started playing X Wing, I've only missed one, and that was because I was in the UK for the System Open Series. Being more cautious with his maneuver with Han Solo, as I would guess right now, by the way the Ten Nam and Horton have kind of turned towards Han Solo, it's kind of like he wants to be dragging them further across the board uh, to make it easier for Luke to get behind him. Interesting to see where they go with this now. Here I am spreading out. Definitely choosing the, definitely signaling Han Solo as his target priority. It's going to take a lot of uh, shots to chew through Han Solo. He doesn't really want to be doing that after he's lost a ship. He wants to get at least two rounds of four ships firing on Han Solo. And the faster he can make it there. The faster he can make it into range of Han Solo, the less likely it is that Luke's able to get get in for at least a couple of rounds. So he wants to be he wanted to go a bit faster than this, maybe even if he was going to go after Han Solo. 
Ja, nu moeten we dat zijn fijn. En fijn bumps into the back of ten as well. Bonus to boost left, <coughs> giving him ability to fire at range on Fang Kyrell. Yeah, target lock. I also got range on, probably on ten, but definitely Fang is the target priority here. Uses Kanan to remove the stress from the debris cloud. for a boost, trying to escape Wedge. Mm. Right, so hand firing on Fane. So, range one, Han Solo on Feng Kyrell. Four dice against two. Um, two hits, a focus and something that's off camera. A blank, focus and blank. Looks like it might even be hit and crit. Leaves it as it is. One evade and a focus takes one shield. Two hits, a focus and a blank. Rerolls a focus, gets an evade. Takes one shield on Han Solo. Luke fires on Fane. Range free, I think. No obstruction. One hit. Two. Yep, one shield lost there. The B wing does not have arc on hand solo. <laughs> Back dials. So a good round there for uh, Ungaro to be able to get damage in and having having fainted out the uh, Abraham by crawling on the board edge. 
but then giving himself enough space to climb in between those asteroids on, by going over the debris cloud and being able to boost out of arc of wedge and um, and the Y wing and the B wing. The only the only ship that was firing that round was Fain Kyrell. Marcelo is back, Marcelo. <coughs> Remind me, Marcelo, um, because I'm getting confused with C3P3s and stuff like that. There, there's been, every year there's been a, a regional in Valencia, and there's only one I missed, right? So we had the first year in Pat, 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 Pat ¿cómo se llama? No, the Pick first year was in Burjasot. Burjasot. Right, but in that Tivoli, was before yeah. I was even involved. Then we did it in Picassen. In Picassen and I was there and I streamed that one. Yeah, that was 2015 15. Yeah. with Commissarian and Lizardo. Yeah. Then 2016, yeah. that one I believe is the one you the, missed. The, the Turia, the Gran Turia, the Centro Comercial. Um, 2016. Because then the next one, if I remember rightly, you were looking at an outside venue, then you realized you weren't going to get that many yeah, players anyway it, and yeah, so we ended up doing it in the rocker yeah so but and you weren't there you were I, there. I was there yeah, but i don't there. remember what won that's 2017 17. and then 2018 was lizardo and david and again david, yes. yeah with the miranda swirly face off and then mm -hmm. spinal salvo uh but i don't remember what happened in 2017 at all <laughs> Mm. I will look it up. It would have been in like, um, I think it was like in February. Because <coughs> last year's one was in January. Yeah, I don't remember. So there's any damage there? <coughs> one in there's uh, Fane's lost shields yeah. and um, one Han's lost on one. Han Solo. Yeah. Han Solo. Mm. <coughs> okay. So Luke, yeah. Looking to make sure he's covered by the debris token, just in case. Wedge turns left, and well, I mean, Fane's bumped here. It looks like uh, the B wing's bumped as well. However, that was really close. <laughs> Pones el dedo, tocas el numerito, se va a mierda la nave, la plantilla. So Han Solo could be um, taking a pretty, a pretty heavy pound in this round if the B wing's not in contact. Mm. Nah. <laughs> and he bugs out. Yeah, I mean it's going to be hard for Abraham to just to just to close on. I mean he, he went early for Han Solo. Ungaro was able to 
Cut straight across in front of him and boost to get out of the way. And yeah, he's got himself into a position where he's not going to worry about them anymore. So, firing on Fane. Five dice thanks to the trick shot on range one. Rerolls one. For the target lock. Looks like he's got two crits, three hits after spending a focus after the force from uh, Ken Jarrus. And there's one evade and a focus. One, two, three. And a face up is a direct hit. <laughs> and that's the structural damage. And down goes Fain Kyrell again. In both games, we've seen Fain Kyrell go down first. Is that because Fain Kyrell is a high priority target or just because Abraham is presenting him? I think for Han Solo, it's really bad. Mm -hmm. It's a really bad matchup. Okay. It's not like a hard counter or something like that. Yeah. If you get any damage cards, he can flip them. Mm -hmm. It's easy yeah. to get damage. And when you've got that R2D2 effect like we saw in your game as well, yeah, can that, that, that kind of effect can stack up. <laughs> oh, hit and crit. One blank, one focus. Oh, if Horton Sam wins a hyperspace trial, I'd be happy. Not gonna, uh, I shouldn't say it's not going to happen. It doesn't look like it's going to happen right now. <laughs> no. Two focuses. I mean, really, it's more than anything, it's because Abraham's in a position now where he can't chase him down. And it's going to take too much effort for it. What you doing? <laughs> oh, the bits, yeah. Those are normal smileys. The bits you have to pay for. Mm -hmm. Okay, so yeah. Uh, speaking of which, paying for, please do remember this stream is brought to you thanks to the support we see over on Patreon, so please do go over to Patreon now. The link just showed up in the chat there. Um, yeah, it's uh, greatly appreciated. Every penny that gets received and goes a long way to help me do stuff in the future. Uh, we've got a t couple of weeks until the Grand Championship in France um, on the first weekend in October. So just two weeks to go until that. And then we've got the Madrid Grand Championship in, in, in Spain showing up in the beginning of November. So thank you all for joining us as well. And if you don't have that, if you aren't able to contribute on Patreon, please do consider going pressing that Twitch Prime button if you do have that. If you've got Amazon Prime, you get Twitch Prime. That gives you a couple of tokens to spend each month on your favourite streamers. I would hope at least if you're watching, that's because I am one of your favourite streamers. One, <laughs> you know, one of them. At least the most handsome one. That handsome, absolutely handsome. Yeah. <laughs> Best dancer, best singer. <laughs> Touch the screen a sec. 64. So, I mean, Hunger is kind of, like I say, uh, Abraham is out of position. That B-wing stressed. Um, the Y-wing, it takes too much effort to get turned around. Wedge doesn't want to be engaging on his own. So we're probably looking at the uh, Rebels not getting any shots in next turn either. Unless Hungaro basically gifts them to him. Removes the stress. Free bank right. Yes. 
we have the Star Wars. Yeah, it, it's quite back. it's quite low. I can only just hear it, so I think I won't get one of those um, copyright strikes on YouTube. I think I won't. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, it's it's pretty low. It's because it's playing in the next room. Yeah, Luke just goes through. Does Hongoro already have an invitation to World Championships? Um, yes, but he's not going. No, of course. He but, um, won a regional in season one. It's right in, in Sevilla. Sevilla. Yeah. Okay, but he's not able to go. So if he wins this one, it's for next year. Right? I don't <laughs> think he will go either. To save up for it. <laughs> it's because the ETC, the XTC team, you keep taking away his money and sending him all over the place over there. Yeah. He's a good player. Yeah. Yeah, he's, yeah, a, he's really a great good player. player. Yeah. And it's interesting because of uh, like where he lives. There's not that many people to play with. Well, he plays a lot on the TTS, TTS and stuff like that. Yeah. He's played with Bartos many times. Yeah. <laughs> there seems to be a big push lately with Vassal. Uh, as as TTS has grown in popularity, Vassal has started to try and defend itself as being the platform of choice for um, non-physical X-wing play uh, or, or or distance X-wing play, I should say. Because um, like it used to be that like Vassal was just Vassal, and that was it. Everyone played on Vassal, and there was no other option. And then when TTS started out there wasn't really much talk about it and so everything said like that now we see vassal a lot more like being active and public and act actively making itself a better platform instead of just leaving it as it was and uh publishing like the latest update it's doing making sure people are aware I of really what they're up to i really don't like it i don't i, I never really liked it i, I not <laughs> but people who use it are really happy with it so. yeah i mean my problem with it was just like it made me feel it it, it it messed me up with my perception of the game. Like I couldn't, once I'd played Vassal for a bit and then tried to play on the table again, I couldn't measure distances as well, judge distances as well, right? Um, and or positions, I don't know. I just kind of got used to that overhead view. So we saw both the um, all three ships from Abraham doing disengaging maneuvers? Yeah, because, I mean, like I said before, Wedge doesn't want to leave himself, doesn't want to try and take on the the Ungro by himself. And so he's just kind of uh, following <laughs> along with Ten Num and Horton Sam. And in the case of Ungro, Ungro didn't need to put himself in a position that was un unfavorable as far as the rocks were concerned. So he kind of disengaged as well. No combat that last round. Lissardo didn't play yesterday, did he? We miss really good players. Is it that um, the second edition isn't just isn't go and press a button? Second edition isn't catching on as well, or no? I think just a schedule problem. Yeah. But nobody went off to Madrid, did they? We had no. a hyperspace trial in Madrid no. as well this weekend. Angel had a wedding. Angel, Angel had a wedding. Angel Arad, mm. he had a wedding. Commissarian. <laughs> Holiday. Had a trip with his yeah. girlfriend. Uh, <laughs> so the Y Wing. He's thinking at the maneuver. Mm -hmm. No. Um, the maneuver's done. Uh, the action. Yeah. He did a focus. Maybe we don't see oh, the token. Okay. No, no, no. There he goes. Okay. Uh, so now Luke's closing into range. Uh, trying to make sure he stays as far as possible out of arc of Horton. And ten. I'm guessing Wedge. If Wedge called it, a talent roll would have been a good option here to get all the arcs in the same direction. 
Yeah, but tell them roll to the left is off the table. Off the table. Turn and roll so to the right. Yeah. Tan -tan. yeah, but the maybe next turn the debris over there. Mm. I don't know. Okay, and hand side just goes straight across the rock. It's a debris, so. Mm, nothing for the debris token. Canon's ability <laughs> now mm -hmm. that he is he clears the stress, space. yeah. The mechanic is similar to the one that Jack Mooney yeah. used in with uh, the extended. Yeah. But without the handbrake. Yeah. The inertial dampeners, yeah. So, mm -mm -mm. Yeah, just kind of boosts forward. I think uh, what he w wasn't expecting to see was to see all three of those arcs pointing towards him, and um, so that kind of helped him doubt what he was going to do as far as that boost was concerned. So Wedge fires on Luke. One hit and a crit. One evade, takes a shield. Shooting to Horton. Yeah. Two crits and a hit. <laughs> <laughs> Blank and fo evade. Focus and evade, sorry. Spends the focus, takes only one. <coughs> Two stress? Yeah. Panic pilot? Panic pilot. Mm. There's three focus results. What does it say there? I can't see it from here. Um, we can hear it. Maybe they're meaning the table or something? I don't know. We can't hear it. Hello? No, no, my, my, at least it's registering on the computer. Uh, two focuses and a crit become two hits and a crit. And there's an evade. Uh, two uses the force and Luke loses his last shield. Still got two charges on the R2 astromech. Range two of the... Talking about the Correcto. Entonces lo que estoy diciendo es que está entre el arco y distancia 2. Vale, eso. 
Okay. One focus. <laughs> Roll first, discuss later. <laughs> yeah, I'm back to dials. Okay. Um, yep. Yeah, so, like I say, once again, Ungaro is in a position where he can he can stay out of Ark's next turn. Wedge is stressed, so he's not got many options as far as clearing that stress and avoiding the debris token. Uh, maybe is the two bank green blue uh, to the right? If he was to go to right, two bank. From um, what's it? On wedge. I think it is. It's a blue, huh? Um, then, and Horton Psalm's double stressed, and the Horton Psalm's got those one banks that are green, uh, and then a two and then one straight. Yeah, so two banks are uh, blue, yeah? So yeah, I would guess, uh, maybe even if he goes, takes a one bank to the right, one bank to the left, one bank to the left would fit as, I don't know, one bank, it's like the way that that, the bu the bubble the knob on the on the edge of the debris token is kind of jutting out gives the impression to me that a one bank to the right left sorry would overlap the debris token getting him stressed again Horton's arm as I say one straight two straight and one bank to the blue so he's not really got very many options there his only hope is to kind of go straight and maybe rotate the arc backwards to try and make sure he still has a shot this turn 10 num has options available to him but like i say is uh he's not exactly going to go for a hard turn to the right this turn and luke and and han are probably just going to kind of speed across towards ungaro's board edge In semi final? Yes, Nino is in semi final. <laughs> Two separatist, separatist um, swarms uh -huh. in semi finals. Uh, so, so, so we is uh, the one from Catalonia, right? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Nino, Luis Calimero. Calimero, yeah. The Fede Torres, I don't know him. But they said yesterday from going 06 last year in yeah. the same tournament now going 6-0 yesterday yeah, yeah. so <coughs> okay so 10 num banks towards luke but like i say i think luke's gonna go fast escape that arc and hand as well just free bank boost Oh. Yeah. Closes the wings, regenerates one shield. Try to. And goes fast. Four straight. Yeah. So. He's, out, he's already out of arc. He doesn't need to even need to boost. Maybe preparing for next. Yeah, I, I would guess uh, he's got the uh, the the bank template. I would have maybe thought. Mm, who knows? If he boosts to the right, I think he's going to bump wedge. Yeah. I don't think he's got the space. Oh. Yeah, that makes a bit. That makes more sense uh, to boost forward. And then the next turn, he can freeze, freeze up that talon roll to the left, to the right. <laughs> and as things are right now, so Luke, so Wedge goes four straight across the debris token. Yeah, this is these are, these rebels are really far out of position right now. Hans is going to take that free bank to the right and just boost out of there and leave them looking at nothing but space dust. 
¿no? Dando sí. Sí, en porcentaje. El espacio de tridimensional, aquí se mira. Doesn't take any damage. Yeah, free bank. Right. Doesn't even come near the debris. Target locks onto wedge. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> like I say, um, even with Horton taking the turn manoeuvre, Horton's the only one firing, and wedge is going to take a range one shot from Han. Crit, crit, hit, and focus becomes two and two crits. One focus. Wedge takes four hits. That's a power disabled power regulator, and that's a direct hit. Don't take him off the board. He's down to one hit point. No, no, he's dead. He's dead. Okay, right. There was another one in there. Devastating shot there. It takes a wedge until he's off the board, leaving Abraham behind considerably. Now you've got that was tough. Yeah, one hit, one crit. Looks like two hits and a crit and a blank. And there's an evade. Two shields on Han. And they go back to dusk. But yeah, there's um Things that are stacking up against Abraham. Uh, he's yeah, down. That was really tough. He's down to two ships. Yeah, that was a big, a big, sh a big get for uh, Ungaro to take uh, wedge off the board in one shot like that from Han. Um, and like I say, the, the he was full. <laughs> he was he was full. Yeah. Not quite sure. Well, maybe he'd lost the shield. Yeah, maybe. Because yeah, because if he suffered four damage, one being a direct hit. And the other one being disabled power regulator from the two crits. Um, yeah, uh, like I say, really the onus here is on Abraham for putting Wedge in that position. It was pretty clear um, that uh, that Harm was going to be getting into that kind of a place and allowing himself to be right next to him with no action after having going o gone over the debris token. Uh, just kind of spelled doom, uh, one way or another. Even if, even with Ungaro becoming lucky enough to take Wedge off the table, even if it hadn't have been that, it would have left Wedge at least half points of damage. Nino makes it to the final. Nino makes it through the final. Luke goes for talent roll. Yeah, I'm a Yeah, free, uh, free turn to the right from Han Solo. Puts him on the debris token. But he still gets to clear that stress, right? No? He gets rid of the stress because of Kanan. Because of Kanan, but he doesn't get his action. He can boost. No, no, you don't lose the action with the debris. Okay, yeah. You're right. You get the stress? Yeah, yeah. so he still gets to do an action. He can still boost off of there and um, he still gets. he's got a target lock. Hmm. One, two, three hits, one blank. 
Another three hits going through on Horton Sam. Down to two. And he just took. Oh, uh, what? Oh, God knows. <laughs> Down to ten, none. <laughs> I, don't, I don't appear to be counting damage very well this round, I don't know, uh, this game. Uh, one, two, three, and there's two. And two focus results. Takes the damage. Two damage cards. R2 Detos to recover its shield. Gets a focus. Which means that as it stands, Abraham hasn't even scored any points this round. This game. He got the half points, but then R2 D2 took some away. <laughs> At least, this is a short final. Yeah, that's true. That's that's one advantage. Yeah, well, um, ten num on its own. Bank, banks to the right. <laughs> okay, maybe trying to thinking he's going to block uh, Han Solo here. Um, I don't see it. Luke takes a one straight. And fits in very nicely, right behind, right next to Han Solo. <coughs> yeah. Okay, so... But then... If Han Solo boosts... Um, yeah, boosting to the right. So, and so they're firing on 10 num, range 2, not obstructed. F two focuses, re rolls for hands, ability. And gets two hits and a focus. Spends the force from Kanan. Uh, visible is a blank. So three shields on ten numb. And there's two focuses and a blank from Luke. Rerolls. Gets one hit. Spends the focus. Or well, the force, put on. Sorry. And one takes another three. At least there's no crits there. Yeah, but uh, no. <laughs> there's, not, there's, there's not much of a game left. Uh, Ten Nom's going to get the fire. And if he can get <laughs> two damage through on uh, Han so he can actually get some points on the board. But no, not at all. Back to Dials. And uh, Ungaro now in snatching distance of this final. There'll be the second... Uh, hyperspace trial he's won this year with the first season one win in Sevilla and now in Valencia. These are the first um, trials that we've had in, in this temp season, right? Yeah, in Valencia. Madrid yes. and Valencia. I mean, like the second season, the second, the Segunda yes. Tanda, yeah? Yeah. Okay. How many but have we got? Like eight or something like that? It's Barcelona and there's. No, no, there will be like. 11 or 12 yeah and then in game on there will be a there's one there as well yeah the, uh, a team hyperspace trial like a c3 p3 yeah 
with uh, teams of four players. Mm -hmm. But isn't it like, if, if you're doing a hyperspace trial, isn't there like a certain format you're supposed to follow? Mm, who cares? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, it's organized wow. by FFG. Yeah, no, yeah, absolutely. It's organized play FFG uh, Spain will be doing since the Game On event. Um, Five dice hand. We can yeah. finish the game. One hit, one crit, two hits and a crit, two focuses, rerolls one, gets another one, yeah, okay. so five hits there, two blanks. <laughs> bang, bang, bang. Thank you for joining us all today. Thank you, Marcelo. Uh, next event will be in two weeks' time in Lyon for the Grand National Champ Grand Championship in France. Aquí. Abraham, enhorabuena por haber llegado hasta el final del Hyper Space Trial, pero no llegó muy lejos, ¿no? No, no. Lo, lo vi para mí, lo que era para mí es que cuando te fuiste por Han. Eso tiene una explicación, ahora, ahora te cuento. Va. Como habíamos jugado en la primera, en la primera parte, ahora vais a jugar en ya habíamos ya. jugado, él no sabía cómo yo me movía, mm. entonces él te ofrece a Luke porque es el que recibe y a Han lo iba por la piedra. Y como yo ya me fui toda por él y le estaba machacando aquel día y es cuando estuvo sufriendo, mm. yo ahora lo intento hacer lo mismo y es cuando él ha hecho el uno recto para luego irse. Yeah. Claro, yo intentaba seguir yendo, pero... Es que él estaba ya eh, en la es, que, es que te sobrecomprometiste llegando tan lejos esa maniobra y le dejaste el hueco para escapar de los arcos por eso, por eso, y por después eso. era demasiado difícil girar todas las si todas no las hubiéramos cuadras. jugado en la primera vuelta él no hubiera hecho ese movimiento porque no lo sabría yeah, yeah. entonces también pensé digo me voy a por Luke mm, es que igualmente aunque yo me ponga aquí con Luke que va, puede aguantar bien el halcón y que empieza es que a machacar. La lista suya es un poco así, te lo, te lo da los dos, por eso claro. lo despliega así. Tú vas por Luke, pues te vengo con Han. Vas por Han, vengo mm. con Luke. Mm. Y habrá sido así, aunque sí la habrías pillado a Han. Como con, con suerte, con los cuatro naves disparando, quizá en dos turnos lo habrás bajado, pero claro que lo, lo tienes que aguantar también. Mm. Y no tus naves claro. lo tienen aguante. Wedge es un poco Kiefer, más frágil de los, de los cuatro. Pero llegaban a un punto de que, de que ya no podrían perseguir jamás. Y en lugar de ser de que tú estabas atacando uno con el otro dándote por atrás, sí. de que te acabas recibiendo los dos en una situación claro. de que no podrías devolver fuego. Yo, yo, yo el momento que hizo el, eh, con el 3 cerrado y hace el, el impulso y se fue, Luke y Wedge nunca iba a poder yeah. estar en arco para dispararle, entonces era imposible. Yeah. Bueno. Incluso es que, es, que, um, es que ni has marcado puntos. No, 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 no. Sí, yeah. sí, 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 de, no. Debido al de los de dos, ¿no? Que se recupera el escudo, así eso, que te ha robado Yo la otra puntos. que, claro, el tampa se sorprende porque yo huyo, pero para recuperarme, no, no, no tanto recuperarme, sino coger arco, él no llegaba, claro, mm -hmm. y yo ya me he dado la vuelta enseguida y encaro yeah. con tres naves a, yeah. a, a Wedge. Que, a, a Luke, yo digo, a ver, si le, le voy a meter con Luke por lo menos dos y otros con el con el con el B y en la torreta pues mi plan era ese yeah. claro así ha quedado sin los escudos pero sin el ión también yeah. podía haber cogido algún algún daño el ión y yo ya lo tengo a mi merced por lo menos lo mato y luego ya el otro que me mate pero también el segundo plan también ha salido mal entonces bueno. no hay más que decir él ha movido muy bien y ya está Vale, pues ya está, otro año terminado. Otro ¿no? año, eh, sí, eh, creo que es la primera vez que tenemos un, no, un chico un no que no es, no es valenciano, ya, sí. uh, así que eso también. Uh, pero todos los conocemos a húngaro y es un sí, chico sí, muy sí, majo, ¿no? Y, y un jugador muy buena. Así que ya está, muchas gracias, muchas gracias Abraham, por haber salido Venga. en el stream. Nos vemos. Vale, uh, ya nos veremos al siguiente, ¿no? Nos vemos en el, en el, en el, en el. Sí, muy Venga. bien. Enhorabuena. Un Muchas claro. gracias. Esto es tu segundo Hyperspace Trial ganado este año, ¿verdad? Porque sí, ganaste en Sevilla. En Sevilla en temporada 1 uh -huh. y ahora temporada 2. Pero con tantas invitaciones, porque también tenías una invitación de un System Open. 
Sí, no, este... yo en el Open no hice top. No, no llegué tan lejos. Y en el. ¿Y ¿Dónde has comprado en el las Europeo reglas? Entonces? Llegué hasta top 16, no llegué hasta. ¿Y dónde has comprado las reglas? En sistema Eso Open. no se puede decir. <risa> <risa> Eso es un par. Es <risa> ok. Y, um, y en el Europeo no había invitación tampoco. Sí, por a top 8, pero caí, caí en top 16. Top 16. No. Ya. Yeah. Tengo vale. solo las invitaciones de los hiperspace. ¿Eran top 16 que caíste? Sí, caí en top 16. Vale, ok, sí. Y, vale, ok. No, estoy intentando recordar lo que estaba pasando en estos momentos. En todo hecho hubo tres streams. Eh, habían, ya, hombre, había tres streams en tres el top stream y, 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 había una... y otra partida que nos estaba jugando, que era la de Juanito con, con Kai. Y era la que nos streameó en todo hecho. Juanito, ya... Juanito, vale, vale, muy bien. Le recordaba que había un español que estaba por ahí jugando solo con Kai. Claro, Juanito. Ya. Yeah. Ok. Juan de la bola. ¿Eh? Juan, Juanito, el pequeño. Juanito o... de Barcelona. Juan Arrebola tuvo. Es el, es el de Galicia que no llegó cual, al final. No sé llegó al final. ¿Eh? No, llegó al semifinal. Llegó top 4. Top 4. Bueno, hablemos de, de, hablemos de torneo. Ya, da igual. <risa> um, pero eso, tienes dos invitaciones, de todos modos, pero no puedes ir al Mundial. No, 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 el mes no que hay viene. presupuesto. <risa> no hay presupuesto, no, obviamente. Uh, sin embargo, creo que esta cuenta para el año que viene también. Si sí, cuenta para el año que viene, pues. Ya Yo ya veremos. la tengo, ya, la veremos. ya veremos. Exacto, ya. necesitamos representación española ahí. <risa> y quién mejor que José María Húngaro, ¿no? Que no. Ya, exacto. Ya, yeah. no, Team no Spain, ¿ya? Yeah. Team ah, Spain Champions. Y entiendo que Nino está en el final de Madrid también. Pues no lo sé, estoy desconectado de la cantina, pero iba muy bien. Así es lo que, que me han dicho. Es puede que ser dicho. que gane el Hiper Spain, Nino. Nino, es que no hay que dejarlo jugar, hay que dejarle arbitrar. Ah, tenemos que. Y, y, ya. <risa> Yo lo gano todo. No, bien, ya. Ok, pues eso, ¿no? Ya, tenemos que conseguir una invitación para Marcelo y el año que viene que Team Spain se vaya a la Mundial, ¿no? Pues sí. Eso, tenemos que intentar a, a hacer trucos para que salga así la cosa. Allí, bueno. Tu partida, ¿qué tal? Pues está. Ya, bueno. era, era fácil, ¿no? No, no era fácil. Ya habíamos jugado ayer. Uh -huh. Y bueno, sí que al principio le tiré a, a Han por la banda uh -huh. y sí que me lo interceptó un poco y. Bueno, entre que no llegaron todos, algunas esquivas, re muchos redos de dos, al final pues se escapó y Lux entró solo y mató. ¿Qué hice aquí? Le giré a tiempo yeah. y dejé a que En este caso, cuadra. él te dejaba este hueco para que Hans se podría entrar claro. y después Boost es que no estaba podía, fuera. No podía llegar tan abajo, no eso tan no, rápido yeah. esas naves. Yeah. No me esperaba que avanzase tan rápido al principio y dije, veremos a ver si no entra, pero cuando empezó a meter las naves ahí, ocupando el flanco, yeah. dije, ya West por ahí no entra. Yeah, yeah. Y entonces ahí me escapé y, y si te, se te escapa y si te mete en la espalda, al Exacto. final su reroll, sus modificadores... Bueno, o sea, además de suerte. Ya, yeah, no, no. Es que y desde ahí, desde como el turno 3, era básicamente escrito ya lo que iba a pasar, que iba a ser demasiado difícil para que él se, él se pegaba a arcos a donde tenía que ponerlas y ya, tú podrías ir quitando naves cada vez en cuando. Claro, ya, poco y a poco iban cayendo. Vale. Pues enhorabuena, otra vez. Lo acabo de ver que la habéis puesto ya la, sí, la, estrella, la estrella por ya. campeones. Uh, pues eso, ya, tú y yo los confiamos bastante, así que seguro que te veré pronto, ¿no? Bueno, Hombre, la final, en la final de Grand si Championship en Madrid. La final, pues, pues sí, nos veremos. Muy bien, perfecto. Me trae suerte, ¿sabes? Todas las veces que me saca. Ya estaba pensando antes que en el, en el partido de Marcelo eh, parecía que ibas a perder, ¿no? Sí, sí, sí. Y estaba pensando, ¿alguna vez has ganado en mi canal? Y, ah, en el europeo ganaste. En el europeo, ya. el año pasado, ya. en la partida Lo de. Hicimos top, el Store Championship aquí. Store Championship. Ya. Um, no sé qué más, que si ya te he sacado alguna otra vez. No, yo creo que no. Creo que no, ya. Pero no me suerte, me... Yo lo he ganado siempre contigo Muy Así bien, que... perfecto Pues al, al menos sé que tengo a alguien que por, puedo contar con ellos ¿no? Es que hay gente que después de un par de veces perder Dicen no <ríe> Y ya bueno, está Cuando pierde ya veremos ya, ya. Muy bien, pues ya está Muchas gracias Hongo sí. por salir en el stream uh, Buena suerte para el dinero para el mundial que viene Ya veremos, a ver si suerte Muy bien And that's it from us. Thank you very much for joining us this morning. We've still got 31 viewers listening to the interview. Uh, next event will be the Grand Championship in France in two weeks' time. Bye. <laughs>